Alrighty then. What's even out this settlement? Okay, there's an agave farm. Directions. Actually. I can just if I can just find one of their groups. Oh, the farm is over here. Uh, if I can find one person that actually sells from that family, I could just buy from them because it's all just one big group. Stones, copper. I'm not sure how you say it. I wish you could flag things as do not sell. Because I think it's inevitable that I'm going to end up selling my copper bandit's knife. But yeah, I was thinking I could go and get um, the heavy armor made and just get someone else to do it, rather than training it up myself, but mm -hmm, I'm not sure. Could in all likelihood make profit. Profit. But it wouldn't be much. Then again, I work on a lot less. You know, the cooked meat thing? Yeah, that's works. I'm working on a lot less there. So yeah, I could go. I could also grab the rubies and bring them somewhere else, and I could probably make a profit off it. Okay, 61% on the gems. Buy my shit. So, 61%. Alright. One thing someone was compl um, complaining about, or disliking about this game, I don't mean complaining in a bad way, it's just they found something with the game that they disliked and they said as much. Um, was, you know, having to run around and try and like, talk to all the different families to trade, rather than it being a just a one-stop shop. And yeah, I can dislike that too. It would be nice if there was like a market set up or something, where the, there will be one representative of every family there. Oh, this isn't properly again. Smelter, but you have only some of your equipment. So, and the value here. Uh, they have emeralds, so I don't think, see them buying mine for over 
God damn is my Strength dropping caused me to lose stuff mid transit. How even happened? Sold a ton of stuff, went to buy stuff, but none turned up. This glitching out on me and then and not giving me my damn rubies but taking my cash. Fuck. Fuck, I'm crippled by that. I can if Karen here does not die... I'll survive this, obviously. there. Yeah, maybe this, because of my lack of food, the starvation, instead what happened was I dropped rubies along the way. Because as my strength goes down, so does my cat. As, as, I st as I'm starving, I get weaker. I must have lost the rubies along the way. Of course, it's all the rubies rather than any of the other trash in my inventory. So, the very things I tried to sell to make money to fix my situation, I lost. Something like that's gonna happen, the game should give you the choice of what you lose. Because I just screwed myself around there because of not knowing.
goblin bow. This bow may look primal, like a goblin's teeth, but its bite is just as deadly and swift. Copper... Sinkade? Mm -hmm. You see a long dagger with a white blade, one of the favorites of cutthroats. It's not a word I can say. I'm guessing it's Spanish. I did take Spanish in school, but... Didn't really study it too hard. Fields, but they don't have a way of milling the wheat, so it's kind of pointless. They can just eat the raw wheat, so it's just, it's not great. You really want to turn it into bread. Even then, I'm not sure how well it compares to just eating um, meat. Black Dragon's dead. Fuck. What's so many goddamn rubies? I never I never engage in that kind of trading, but I was just like, yeah, let's do this. It must have glitched out in some way. It's it's either the weight issue, it's the starvation in the desert issue, or it's Uh, some other, it's a glitch of some sort. Say so lovey. Again, I'm thinking what I could do to try and make some degree of money is to go and start uh, hacking down these trees. Hack down the trees, t uh, make palm fibers. And try and offload them somewhere. It's a nice, easy way to make money. It's just tedious. That's all. area taunt. Obviously suicide and the more dangerous areas but damn useful when trying to clear out a place that you can grind. It's something that I've always wanted in games like say if you're doing a low level WoW dungeon or any dungeon really you just walk in, hit a button and the whole dungeon try rushes you to try and kill you. You can do it when you're not geared for it and whatnot when it's a terrible idea but I like the idea of You know, it's just expediting, grinding, and whatnot. Should respond to that message. Here, beer be. Oh, I've recorded over three. I was gonna say thirty because I'm seeing too many zeros here. Um, over three hours now. Combined with the first set that I stopped rather than paused, that was like eleven minutes. I'm on three hours nine now, so three hours twenty. Hell yeah. But yeah, I always like the idea of you walk into a place, it's just like, 
come get me and just having them all aggro. You could do it when you're under level and just get ganked, but I love the idea of you being over leveled and just being a way to expedite it. Like, you're, le you're level 100, you go into Mechterodon's lair, and it's just like, come get me. Or, you know, you're in Tempest Keep, and so, come get me. And you just start murdering everyone as they rush at you. Even the bosses, you know, everyone just Zerg rushes you and tries to get, kill you. I like that idea. It just expedites it, and then you can just click once and just mass loot the entire dungeon. And in some dungeons, earlier on ones, there will be resources dotted around true. Like, oh, here's a treasure chest, here's some ore. Later on, dungeons don't do that. And even then, the dungeons that do it are particular dungeons, like, say, dead mines. Uh, I think in Botanica, it does have some herb nodes that you can loot. But, you know. Ignoring those, yeah. There wouldn't be a downside. There's no dwarven cave. It's tempting to head up the sheep ranch over here. I'm sure I'll be able to get some meat. I'd be in a much better position if I hadn't lost all my fucking items. Hunters are always near the entrance. It is pretty damn useful. Except they have nothing. Worthless. There's a homestead and an estate. I'm not sure on the difference. Estate just seems to be their home. Ah, magnificent. Except I'm still broke. And here's the thing, I sold a ton of gear there too, in exchange for the stuff, so I missed out on all that money as well. leaving settlement. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be stopping again. There is a message. Uh, BRB. Oh, well, we well, folks. It's been many hours now. Um, many hours since um, I recorded. Many, many hours. My god. I don't remember what I was last doing. Ah, I was coming in here to kill some stunties. Yes. They aren't really doing that well. It's not much of a flanking if you wait till all your friends are dead first, man. I'm still sore about that glitch. I'm not sure if it's a case of me running out of carry capacity and the gems getting dropped, because a few other things would have dropped first. Um, I think it's just a straight out glitch where I didn't, it just didn't acknowledge me buying it. It acknowledged me losing money, but it didn't acknowledge me gaining it. Maybe it's a good idea to do the purchases separately, but... It's never been an issue before. Maybe it's the sheer amount of stuff I sold. It's hard to be sure off the cuff. Sorry, just going back to my teeth. Uh, stone is pretty damn cheap here. So is goat leather. Uh, I shouldn't even look at that. I can't afford shit right now. I could break this all down for a ton of um, copper. Or at least the possibility of copper. I'm not really sold in that being a good idea. Crude sickle. Useful for gathering herbs. So that snake letter for a lot. Get rid of the goblin bone. Magnificent. Now I actually have some money. Maybe I've spread my points around too much. I suppose one possible issue here is just me being too focused. Well, not too focused, but too not focused on um, an idea. Because I'm trying to be melee person and merchant guy and 
Maybe I'm too all over the place. That is an issue I often have with builds. A glass-like black stone formed from volcanic lava. Serpentine. A gemstone of a yoke. Another one. Magnificent. Try the monk's temple, but I need to get geared first. <laughs> 